Hi uh, guys, Dane here, and welcome to another episode of Five Bookish Facts. Today's episode is on Neil Gaiman. I'm sorry, I can't remember who requested it. I've got a backlog of these to catch up with. My bad, I'm really sorry. Um, yeah, here are some books. Yeah, yeah, alright. And uh, let's go. Okay, so fact number one is that Gaiman believes that books have genders. He said, uh, he said, books have sexes, or to be more precise, books have genders. They do in my head anyway, or at least the ones that I write do. And these are genders that have something, but not everything, to do with the gender of the main character of the story. Stardust, on the other hand, is a girl's book, even though it also has an everyman hero, young Tristram Thorne. Not to mention seven lords bent on assassinating each other. The Day I Swap My Dad for Two Goldfish is a boy's book. Coraline is a girl's book. And American Gods? The book had a gender now, and it was most definitely male. So Gaiman's favourite, specifically Filipino, mythological creature is the Manangal. He said, I believe it's got to be those wonderful witchy vampire ladies who leave their bottom half behind and fly off trailing entrails and suck your life out with their incredibly long tongues. I don't dare say their name. Manangal! I think I'm saying it wrong. Because I will always get it wrong, but it's them. <laughs> Fact number three is that Gaiman had a talking cat called Fred. He said, I've never had a talking cat before. He wanders around the attic saying things like, hello, and Mimi. Well, the hello is more like, hello, but it's still quite off-putting if you aren't used to it. Fact number four is a man after my own heart. When he was a kid, he used to alphabetize all of the books on his bookcase. And I found this on like this fact website as though that's a weird thing to do. No, alphabetizing is what you do when you want to be able to find your books. <laughs> and fact number five, when he was 16 he started a zine or I guess a comic slash magazine hybrid called Metro with three of his friends and he explained it by saying, we started a zine. It was called Metro, a name I think I came up with mostly because it sounded like a magazine that people might vaguely have heard of. We got a few local stores to pay for enough advertising to print the thing very cheaply and I did interviews with anyone we could get. Michael Moorcock and artist Roger Dean are the only ones I remember. And they were rather surprised when their interviewers turned out to be 16 year old boys in school uniforms. And the magazine was sold in local record stores and bookstores in Croydon about 1976. And interestingly enough, that's actually kind of similar to how Richard Branson started out as well. Very cool. So anyway, there we have it. Those were five bookish facts about Neil Gaiman. Don't forget to let me know in the comments if you've got any requests or suggestions for a future episode. Hit that like button if you've enjoyed this. Hit subscribe if you're new here, and I will see you soon for more bookish videos. Thanks a lot. Bye-bye.